What to do when someone close to you is diagnosed with a terminal illness. The news you've just had is really rough, and I won't pretend things won't get rougher in the months ahead. You've had a real shock, so sit down and take a few minutes to have a cup of coffee, and let's talk about what happens next. At first, when the doctor told us the diagnosis was terminal, I didn't understand what they were saying to us. I had a sick feeling in the pit of my stomach. I was in complete shock. I don't remember what they said. Then later, all I could think of was what do we do now? What do I do next? In order for you to take care of the person close to you, you are going to need help and support as well. You will need to look after yourself and build a support network of your own. Help is out there. You will not be alone. But these are the two key actions that you should take today. The first key action is to phone your GP and make an appointment for you. Your GP will be a key point of contact. They'll need to know what you are going through and you'll need their help in the weeks and months ahead. My GP helped me understand the diagnosis. She gave me numbers for people to talk to, people who'd been through the same thing. I didn't use them all, but it was good to have them. I still have them. It was good to be able to talk to her and to tell her how I was doing, so that later, when things changed, she knew the whole story. The second key action is to find and make contact with your local hospice. They can be there for you right from the point of diagnosis. They'll help you navigate the challenges you will face, ask and answer some key questions, and help you to understand the practicalities of what you are facing. At first, we weren't ready to go to our hospice, so they sent someone to talk with us at home. We didn't need their care for quite a while, but they were always there at the end of the phone, and no question was too trivial. We discovered that a hospice isn't just somewhere you go to die. They helped us live through it, and they're still helping me now. Whatever happens, by taking these two key actions, you won't be alone. You can find your local hospice online at www.hospiceuk.org. Call them now, then when you want it, there is more help available.